I wanted to start out by telling you uh, an Uber car dropped off the suspect at 2019 yesterday, 2.19 p.m. at Stone, Stoneman Douglas High School. The suspect entered the east stairwell, that's building 12, with a rifle inside a black, soft case. The suspect exited the stairwell, pulled the rifle out of the case. At 20, at 2.21 hours and 33 su seconds, the suspect readied his rifle and began shooting into rooms 1215, 1216, 1214. He went back to 1216, back to 1215, and then to 1213. The suspect, the suspect then took the west stairwell to the second floor and shot one victim in room 1230 floor, 1234 on the second floor. The suspect then took the east stairwell to the third floor. He dropped his rifle and backpack, ran down the stairs. He exited building 12 and ran towards the tennis courts and then took a southbound turn on foot. The suspect crossed fields and ran west along with others who were fleeing and tried to mix in with the group that were running away, fearing for their lives. The suspect arrived at the Walmart store. He bought a drink at the subway and then left the Walmart on foot. The suspect went to McDonald's, sat down for a short period of time. This was at 3.01 p.m. and he left on foot. At 3.41 p.m., 40 minutes after he departed from the McDonald, the suspect was detained at 4700 Wyndham Lakes Drive in Coral Springs by an officer from the Coconut Creek Police Department. He was taken into custody without incident. On September 25th, 2017, the FBI field office in Jackson, Mississippi received a tip about a comment posted to a YouTube account by someone with the username Nicholas Cruz, spelled N-I-K-O-L-A-S-C-R-U-Z. The comment said, I'm going to be a professional school shooter. There was no additional information about the particular time, location, or further identifiers about the person who posted the comment. The complainant had provided the same information to YouTube. YouTube removed the comment. After receiving this information, FBI Jackson conducted an interview of the person who made the complaint. This person lives in Mississippi, has no connection to South Florida, and has no knowledge about the person who posted the comment. The FBI also conducted internal database reviews and open source checks. No additional information was found to positively identify the person who posted this comment. There was no connection found to South Florida.